loves to make the bed in the morning. He loves to jump for his streets. He likes to help weed the flower garden. I cannot imagine my life without him. I scooped him up and he seemed really content in my hand and I had him do some office work with me and it was hard not to fall in love with him. And I was leaving for the day, so it was like this knee-jerk reaction. It just came out of my mouth. I was like, I'll take him. I brought him home to foster him. Chicks that age should be under their mothers, keeping warm. And basically I became his surrogate mother. He went everywhere with me. Or he would sleep in my sweatshirt and cuddle up to me. And every day I fell more and more in love with him. And I just learned very quickly that he's this wonderful sentient being that just wants to be loved like all of us, just like a cat or a dog or a human baby. I had fallen asleep on the sofa. Bree was really quiet that day. Like he really sensed that I wasn't feeling well. And when I woke, he was laying across my chest. I remember waking up thinking, I didn't even know that chickens laid down. And so all of a sudden it became very aware like the sentient being is bonded to me. That was that turning point day where I thought, wow, I feel like he's part of my family. I don't know if I could give him to a sanctuary. Chickens grow very rapidly. Bree was constantly changing. One day, a couple months later, he crowed. <laughs> Crowing is usually the telltale sign that he was a rooster. So here I was, living in New York City at the time, with Bree the Rooster, and I had to make a decision. And Bree made the decision for me, because I chose Bree. It was probably the best decision I ever made. I know how attached I am to Bree, but I think I fail to realize how attached he is to me. When I come home after a day of work, he'll do the happy dance for me and I pick him up or he'll follow me into my office. That gives me a special feeling because for me, he's such a gift. He bought me so much. Chickens as a whole are very, very smart animals. He loves technology, like he's actually watching us, uh, watching you. He's an avid reader. Be able to provide him a good home and to provide him with love, that's part of my mission. He has enriched my life so much, I think without him, it wouldn't be as joyful. What do you think? Oh, the big wings, that's like a good sign.